C I E T N C E R T presents audiobook of mathematics for class 3 entitled math magic 3 chapter 1 where to look from part 2 page number 3 rangoli this page has two parts with some pictures part 1 picture shows conversation between a boy and a girl picture in part 2 shows two patterns of rangoli and provides dotted space for making more patterns of rangoli let's start reading this from part 1 picture in part 1 picture boy is saying have you ever made a rangoli my friend minakshi makes beautiful floor patterns the girl in the picture is shown sitting on the floor near few finished rangoli and making another rangoli on floor she is saying i am minakshi i belong to tamil nadu we make kolam patterns every morning they are made by using dots the first rangoli is made by four triangles which are joined with the center and it looks like a flower with four petals the second rangoli is made by five squares one square is at the middle and rest four squares are at the four corners of the square the third rangoli is made by two triangles and a square triangle 1 at the top and triangle 2 at the bottom both triangles share common point at the middle the end points of both triangles are curved like petals the square is drawn from the middle points of the triangle and the end points of square are also curved like petals the fourth rangoli looks like a square with rounded petal corners the fifth rangoli is made by two overlapping triangles with rounded petal corners triangle 1 is upwards and triangle 2 is upside down minakshi is making sixth rangoli which is collection of three petal flowers placed side by side in part 2 the picture shows a rectangle box inside this box dots are arranged in eight rows and 12 columns question you can also try and use the dots given below to make patterns two examples have been drawn here example pattern 1 has a slanting line from left to right joined by another slanting line from right to left a rhombus starts from the common point of these lines the top and bottom points of lines and rhombus 1 are rounded to form petals there is a dot inside the petals the right corner of rhombus 1 is joined with rhombus 2 the top and bottom points of rhombus have petals with dots inside the right corner of rhombus 2 is joined with rhombus 3 and looks like rhombus 2 the right corner of rhombus 3 is joined with rhombus 4 and looks like rhombus 3 the right corner of the rhombus 4 has two slanting lines one going upwards and second 
downwards. Each line has petal with dot inside at the corners. Pattern 2 is made by squares of different sizes. There is a rhombus at the center. This rhombus is surrounded by square. The corners of central rhombus touch the midpoints of sides of outer square. This square is surrounded by rhombus too. The corners of the square touch the midpoints of the sides of rhombus too. One small square is drawn from each one of these four touch points. At the right side of this box space is provided for drawing patterns by joining the dots. Page number 4 Make other patterns yourself. This page is divided into two parts. Each part has a dot grid. Dots arranged in rows and columns in dot grid. Part 1 dot grid shows 6 patterns and part 2 dot grid is empty. Let's begin reading this page. Question 1. Copy these shapes on the dot grid. Note that some lines in the shapes are straight and some are not. Part 1 dot grid has 6 pattern designs. Part 1 has 4 triangles. Each triangle is made by joining 3 dots with one common dot between 2 triangles. The triangles are arranged in slanting line. Pattern 2 is made by choosing 4 dots as corner of a square. Small circles are made around these 4 chosen dots and then joining these circles to make a square. Pattern 3 uses 2 adjacent columns of dots in the dots grid. The dots are surrounded by two slanting curved lines from column 1 to 2 and from column 2 to 1. This pattern looks like twisted ribbon with flat ends. Pattern 4 looks like 4 petal flower. Each petal is made by joining two dots with one curved line from above and another curved line from bottom. Pattern 5 is made by using two adjacent rows of dots in the dot grid. Dot 1, row 1 is joined by standing line with dot 1, row 2. Dot 1, row is joined with dot row 1 by slanting line. This is repeated three more times to obtain this design. This is made by using two adjacent rows of dots in the dot grid. Small pointed oval is drawn around each dot of the chosen rows. Row 1, dot 1 oval is joined with row 2, dot 2 oval by slanting line. Row 2, dot 2 oval is joined by row 1, dot 3 oval by slanting line. Row 1, dot 3 oval is joined with row 2, dot 4 oval by slanting line. Row 2, dot 4 oval is joined by row 1, dot 5 oval by slanting line. Row 2, dot 1 oval is joined with row 1, dot 2 oval by slanting line. Row 1, dot 2 oval 
is joined by row 2 dot 3 oval by slanting line. Row 2 dot 3 oval is joined with row 1 dot 4 oval by slanting line. Row 1 dot 4 oval is joined by row 2 dot 5 oval by slanting line. Page number 5. This page is divided into two parts. Each part has a dot grid and a question. The question numbers continue from previous page. Let's begin reading this page. Part 1. Question number 2. Use the dot grid given below to draw your own design and shapes. Part 2. Question number 3. Complete these figures to make squares and rectangles. The picture below shows dot grid with 6 incomplete patterns. Pattern 1 has 2 lines. A standing line made by joining 3 dots of same column. Top of this standing line is extended towards right side and made by joining four dots in the row. Pattern 2 has two slanting lines with a common point at the top. Line 1 is made by joining three dots in a slant towards left side. Line 2 is made by joining three dots in a slant towards right side. Pattern 3 has two lines. Line 1, sleeping line made by joining four dots in a row from left to right. Line 2 is a standing line starting from right end of the sleeping line going downwards joining four dots in the same column. Pattern 4 has two lines. Line 1 is standing line made by joining three dots from top to bottom. Line 2 starts from bottom of standing line and extends towards right side joining five more dots. Pattern 5 has two lines. Line 1 is standing line made from joining four dots from top to bottom. The top corner of standing line extends towards right to make sleeping line by joining three more dots. Pattern 6 has only one sleeping line made by joining three dots from left to right. Page number 6 This page has an empty dot grid. The number of question continues from previous page. Question 4. On the dot grid given below, draw the following. A. A kite. B. A leaf. C. A flower. D. A boat. E. A star. F. A pot. Note for the teachers and parents. Free play with the shapes on a dot grid can help develop children's understanding of shapes and symmetries. The chapter begins with activities to show how two-dimensional pictures can represent three-dimensional objects as seen from different perspectives. This is related to symmetries, an important aspect of shape further developed in Chapter 5. The Chapter 1 Where to Look From Part 2 Of total, 14 chapters of the book ends here. Narrator Akash Ahuja Sound Recordists 
Batilang Lingdo and Mayank Kumar. Assistance in production by Minakshi Kukreti. Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary. This book is presented to you by C I E T N C E R T, New Delhi, India.